Hey guys, Megan here from Growing Up Herbal. I thought that I would head outside this morning and shoot a quick video to show you some of the progress we're making on our landscaping. I wrote a blog post a while ago about um, our plans for landscaping the mountain, so I wanted to show you what we had accomplished since that blog post. So um, right here on the side of our house, we had a bunch of brush and little trees and briars and things cleared out, and we had some hydrangea bushes put in a cherry tree and we've got a rhododendron up there and some evergreens and um, it looks like our hydrangea bushes are dying but the guy said that they would die and then probably come back and then you can see we've got a lot of English ivy growing right there on this old rock wall that was part of the previous landscaping um, and then underneath the stairs we also have English ivy that will grow back when we're done messing around with everything up there. And all of the um, grass that's growing beside of the little walkway, it will be leveled out so that the land right there will be kind of flat. So we'll have like a flat area because before it was kind of sloping down the hill right here where we've got our walls going in. And I wanted it to be flat and I wanted to have some places where we could plant plants and herbs and things like that. Maybe even vegetables if we want vegetables there, I'm not sure. But Anyway, you can see that the first retaining wall is almost finished. We have to finish this one last uh, layer on the top and put the top blocks on. And then we just got a huge pile of muddy gravel <laughs> um, that we have to put in to start the second wall. You can see where the area is kind of dug out for that. And my husband will start the second wall and then we'll get the equipment back in and get it all leveled out and filled in. And hopefully this part over here dug out and this will start looking less muddy and a little bit more put together. Anyway, over here we have added in a bunch of different plants up top. I have to fill in some area over here. Um, and mainly this area um, where my husband's tractor is parked right now. I mean, he usually parks his truck right there, but this between that area, you can see we've got, um, sorry, this is so jumpy. Um, you can see we've got the juniper bushes there, and down here we have a bunch of juniper bushes all over this hill. And that's because the hills are so steep that it's difficult for him to weed eat and keep up cutting all that grass and stuff down. And then we put a boulder there and, a, you know, some evergreens and di of different colors and a little echinacea plant. We've been working with a landscaping company that's been kind of helping us pick the right plants because... This area is very shaded, and then the area where I was just at, it gets a lot of sun, and it's, I'm not a landscaper, so it's very difficult for me to pick the right kind of thing. I'm just not sure what I need, but anyway, they've been a huge help, and they came, and they planted all of these junipers for us, and then they planted all the hydrangeas and the tree up near the house and cleared all of that for us. Um, and you can see this is the area that I wrote the blog post about. This is the first area we landscaped. It's very shaded, so we needed shaded plants. And um, right here, where there's nothing right there, we're going to put some split rail fences and then something to grow on those. I wanted to put rose bushes um, to eventually grow up and hang over the split rail, but I don't think that this area gets enough sun, so I have to pick something else. And then this area right here, where you don't see anything, we're going to have a little bit of steps going down into there with... Um, a pathway that kind of like a little pea gravel pathway that winds through there and we'll ha we have this little seat with an arbor kind of thing over it that we'll put along the pathway and we'll plant um, some English ivy to grow up over that arbor and then we're also going to take these kinds of plants the shade plants the ferns and the hostas and we'll put those along the sides of the path we're going to put maybe a blue hydrangea down there that gets pretty big and some different some different colors. We're going to bring some color into there. Um, and then over there, the area where the boys' play set is at, we'll eventually clean that up. And this hillside will be covered in fruit trees and bushes and all kinds of things is the plan. Wherever we get some sun, we have to kind of pay attention to that as the year goes on because that's a next year project. Anyway, so I just wanted to take you guys out here real quick and give you an update on the landscaping of the mountain. It has been a big project, but it's been our summer project. We want to get the house looking, um, well, I guess our land and the house looking uh, like it has a little bit more curb appeal. <laughs> Other than just a mountain with 
wild stuff growing everywhere, which I'm a huge fan of wild stuff, of course, but um, we wanted to make this a little bit more homey looking. So anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.